Hi, this is Deborah Quinn with the Pastry Swan Bakery in Palm Desert, California. Today we're going to do some birthday cake rock and roll decorations for cakes. Okay, so we're getting ready to put together some ideas for rock and roll cake decorating. He's been rolling out the fondant that we've made in black. As you can see, black um, food color is very nice as far as when you add it to the fondant, it's actually going to make it a little more pliable. This is a very strong color. So we're going to make a record that's going to set on top of this small cake. He's just taken a small circle that's just a little bit bigger than our cake so that it can actually lay over the top of it. So he's cutting it out. And this is going to be our record. What we'll do is we'll have him put it on the stand here and put it on. And we're making uh, some ridges that are going to be the grooves in the record. And he has what we call just a, a comb. It's a very simple cake decorating comb that you can buy at any decorating store. So it has some ridges. And if you can see that close up, it has just the record ridges on there. You want it to set up maybe about a day so that the ridges on the edges can kind of set across there. So we're taking the one that we did yesterday and just very simply setting it on our buttercream cake. So you can see it's already stuck right onto the buttercream, which is soft. Going to get all the corn starch off of that, which kept it from sticking to the mat itself. And we've got a record. So what we're doing now is for the rock and roll, we're doing a little bit of the disco floor look. We're going to just basically take some little squares out of the fondant that he's cutting with a little small cutter. And I'm going to place them around the cake. And then we're going to go up just to the next layer up on here and just do every other one. So we'll get more of that checkered floor look. More of a rock and roll dance floor look. We as well have made some little notes. It's just basically a small cutter that you get. want to get the fondant nice and thin so that it dries out. And you just want to go around on the cake with those notes. And he's going to just put a center, some white color, so that we uh, can have the message show up a little more. I'm going to pipe a little bit of white just on the base of where the white shows through. Thank you so much. This is Deborah Quinn with Taste Song Bakery. That was our how to do birthday rock and roll cake decoration ideas.